Hi, here we are in a beautiful Andes, Texas morning, covering a really neat car, handling several cars out of a collection. It is a little bit windy out here in the uh, collection here in the morning, so we're going to speak up over the microphone. Really neat, very cool car. There's a lot of cars in this collection. We've spent some time over the past few years coming down here and covering them. He likes to collect these cars, and uh, some of them he, th he considers turning into a street rod. This is not one of them. Anyway, it's a 1935 Auburn Cabriolet. Very cool car, rumble seat cabriolet. Anyway, we'll walk around and tell you what we know. It was uh, purchased by him in an auction in 2016. And give us a call and we'll, we'll tell you what we know history-wise, that kind of thing. We'll actually spend time getting it up on the lift, um, covering the undercarriage for you, the engine compartment like we always do. Really good looking car. These cars just have fantastic style. Auburns were really in a class of their own. Hydraulic brakes, light combing straight eight, three-speed manual transmission, cabriolet, in other words, the windows roll up. The body's very straight. You can kind of see the reflections yourself there. The finish, we don't know a lot about the age of the finish or what type of paint was used, but I, we believe it was painted, you know, maybe a few years before uh, he purchased it at auction. I would call it average to above average. We could pick it for flaws here and there as you can with any car. As a working cow vent, these cars are, uh, prop, you know, they're really rare, hard to find. So, you know, parts are hard to come by. All the parts on this car really appear to be all stock in their format and uh, pretty hard to find. So, has uh, 716 wide white wall tires on it. Again, we mentioned it has a Lycoming straight eight underneath the hood. If I made a mistake uh, earlier on saying what, how many cylinders it had, please allow the cor correction. First car of the day here, getting my motor running. All the bright work and trim is just beautiful on the front here. Headlights are nice. Somebody's restored this at some time. It's had an amateur undercarriage wise, uh, amateur or preservation over the years. Underneath the engine compartment is nicely detailed. We'll cover that. We'll actually fire it up for you. We drove it here, right to this spot. I took it down the road here. We'll actually have a video that, go, that goes through all the gears. These fenders are so cool, the arrow on them and the hood sides. Long car, big car. But you'll see age, character, patina and some of the components. It looks like, again, they plated some of the stuff up front. Some stainless, some plated. Running boards look to be possibly reproductions. I don't know where you would get those or their uh, NOS that somebody found. If they, all the fenders are uh, appear to be, I, we'll have it up on the lift and cover the undercarriage with you. The fenders are very solid fenders. We'll cover the undercarriage. A few at the door here. At the same time, I believe this car was refinished. They redid the leather in it. So it's got a re renewed leather interior. Again, I'm gonna guess that the interior in this car is seven or eight years old. So it's been refinished. And again, an older preservation restoration probably prior to that. And nicely detailed up. The top will actually raise it up and show you the canvas and stuff. There's the uh, hardware that holds the top to the windshield. And a little note about starting it. It's got an interesting start procedure process. Again, hang on to the video. I'll uh, I go through that actually. You gotta love the Art Deco feel about these cars. Three hinges on the door, that's kinda neat. I think uh, most of them only had two suicide doors, rumble seat. Again, the panel's fairly straight, really straight little car. Little car, big car. And you could call it for weakness, some weakness areas and prep in the paint, that kind of thing, and here, and you know, I could go along and do it. Uh, looks like they made her shine really good, and that's what's important. I'd tell you the paint on is better than it would have been from the factory, that's for dang sure. Spare tire, full size spare, Auburn wheel, Auburn hubcaps. Again, some of these parts would be near impossible to find. You love the body lines on these things. We'll shut the deck lid here. Look at the deck. Factory tail lights on it. Again, character agent patina. Probably the original tail lamps on this car. Uh, 
running boards. They put new bumper head extensions on them here, or the rubber covers, and this one's come loose a little bit on the bumper here. Again, just a little picky stuff that I'm picking about. Open the door, a little bit of door handle sag here. Not the end of the world, it's a spring. Again, we're going to fire it up for you, let you hear it run underneath the hood. We'll raise the top enough for you to see the material on it. There you go. We're inviting you in. Hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. All right, we'll cover the engine compartment with you. Again, kind of give you an idea of uh, the cosmetics and how she looks. It has a uh, correct Lycoming straight eight in it. These cars are really neat when it comes to that kind of thing. There's, uh, I believe, I don't know what the cubic inches were, but they was pretty up there. We'll do some research at Spud's Garage and cover that for you. It looks like they've went through and done all new wiring, that type of thing, and detailed up the engine and starter and all the components that attach to it. Honeycomb radiator. So we'll get back to the office and do a little research and uh, cover more for you. Here's the uh, body tag over here on the right side, Auburn. 851, model 851 Cabriolet is what it is. Serial number 2572F. Quiet that phone down a little bit here. The car runs, seems to run just fine. We drove it, we'll actually give you a little clip. Uh, could use a little bit of brake work because it's been sitting since 2016. Like we mentioned during the walk around, the gentleman brought this at auction and not much we don't know much about it. its history that type of thing but we will get it up on the lift here with you looks like the correct fittings that type of thing here downdraft two but two barrel carburetor mechanical uh, fuel pump down here and again a new cloth wiring harness anyway we think you get the idea actually I'm gonna try and fire this up here I got it sitting here why not we'll let you hear it run we take it for a drive so Get it here. A little bit tricky. to go through a quick startup to show you this car runs and drives we got it neutral right here here's the switch here there's the ignition on off and then it's an STX for a start you get it down into start and then you flip it back up for run looks like the amp gauge is working oil pressure is working Tachometer is not 9,085 miles. Of course, the other two gauges are uh, liquid based. Back up a little bit here. Put it reverse, show you it goes right into reverse. And they're actually moving. Time to do this one-handed. Time capsule this one, that's for sure. Again, we're in first gear. It's hard to do with one hand. Second gear goes in. Third gear. Want to show you a drive? Drive by the hay fields. Go to spudsgarage.com. Hang on to the end of the video. We'll cover the undercarriage for you. Have a great day.
All right, as promised, we told you we would put the top up and kind of give you a feel of the car with the top up. It's all attached. This is how we're going to store it now. It was stored with it down. Step back and give you a view of the car with the top on or up. Pretty nice soft canvas. Newer along the age of the uh, paint and stuff on the car. Plastic rear window. Ton of snaps on these cars. The well back there is carpeted. I'll give you a little peek in there. Carpeted and trimmed. Give you a picture of the bows. We won't have any still shots at Spud's Garage. We want to share this with you. And of course the Tanu cover. There you have it. Have a great day. Hang on to the end of the video. All right, we've got the Auburn up on the lift here. We're going to share the undercarriage with you like we talked about. It's an older restoration. Uh, fairly solid is what I would say. A lot of original components on it. The fenders uh, appear very solid. Original springs in the rear here. I believe in the front also. They are sagging a bit. And it's bringing the uh, leaf spring shackle close to the body here. I'm going to try and cover all the areas I can for you. I know these cars are super rare and super hard to find. Um, stabilizer bar, factory stabilizer bar. I don't think they had gas shocks back in 1935, so it's had uh, some updated gas shocks put in the front and rear. These appear to be original uh, gator wraps on the leaf springs. Probably never been off it. Older amateur restoration with some recent updating, not by this current owner. Fenders appear really solid. There are There is some corrosion on this brace that holds the wood uh, floor pan structure and it, it looks like it's recently been worked on or recent years, put it that way. This owner didn't do anything to it that I know of. This car's been around a lot of years. Neat little X-frame for the time period. Fuel filter down along the rail here. Bottom of the running boards and braces. A few cobwebs to go with it. If you're looking for one of these specimens, they're hard to find. This one should be uh, worthy of a restoration or maintaining it. Maintaining an older restoration. Somebody's tried to doll it up with a little bit of silver paint on the transmission and uh, green bell housing and red pan, red uh, inspection pan. I believe the engine's had some work done to it. That oil pan looks like it's been recently worked on or been off and it's awful clean. Awful clean. Car started right up here. We've moved it around several times. The inside of the fenders again. Hydraulic brakes for 35, way ahead of uh, Ford, that's for sure. We've talked about that before on other cars. Again, original leaf springs in the front. Also, I believe they've put in, uh, installed gas shocks in the front here. Custom brackets up here on the mounts. Cover the front side of the fenders. Overall, the exterior body looks pretty good. I don't see a lot of repairs in any of the fenders from what I can see. Anyway, there you go. We'll take one more quick pass through. Go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty more. Have a great day.